here I am, Puffs, me, me and Puff working this close. Uh -huh. He goes to you know, get his own company. He gets his girl. Of course, he wants her to be a, a version of me. At the time, did it? At the time, did it annoy you a little bit? Did it? Uh, at the time when it was happening. I, 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 I'm not going to say nothing. Mary J. Blige fans got quite a shock. There were reports that she and Faith Evans had a big fight at P. Diddy's party. Apparently, they ran into each other at the fancy party, and things got really intense. The alleged feud between the two iconic stars has caused quite a stir on social media, further fueling the controversy surrounding Mary J. Blige, Faith Evans, and even Puffy Daddy. Puff hooked us up. He wanted me to help co-write on the album. You know, she was singing for years before I met her. Rumors have indeed circulated suggesting that Mary J. Blige harbors animosity toward Faith Evans. These rumors allegedly claim that Mary sought revenge against Faith at Diddy's party. What's astonishing is that these rumors appear to have some basis in reality given their long history dating back to the 1990s. Mary J. Blige and Faith Evans initially began their relationship as close friends. They started working together in the early 90s when Diddy signed Faith to his record label, Bad Boy Entertainment, and it's crazy to see how things have changed since then. Mary had this one-of-a-kind approach that mixed hip-hop and R&B like no one else. Her style was edgy, and her music had a raw, unapologetic quality. She didn't hold back with her lyrics and subject matter. When she entered the music scene, she brought a whole new level of energy that was truly unique. I love her because she yeah. just she she's herself and nobody influences that right. you know nobody at That's all right. not career not the higher person nobody and I really respect many people were stunned to know that Mary J Blige and Faith Evans had a really great bond in Faith Evans album marriage obliges in my life she had Mary J Blige sang all the background vocals they were really tight back then and there are pictures on the internet showing them hanging out having a good time and maybe even enjoying some drinks and smokes now Mary J Blige was a successful R&B singer in the music industry there's a common trend where if one artist becomes successful, the industry rushes to create its own version of that artist. It's all about making money, and labels are all about business. But you can imagine how frustrating this can be for the original artist. For instance, talk about Faith Evans. While she's different from Mary J. Blige in many ways, she was packaged and promoted in a similar way to Mary. Mary was signed to Uptown Records, and at the time, P. Diddy was also on the label. He helped produce Mary's first two albums. However, there was a falling out between Diddy and Mary, leading him to start his own label, Bad Boy Records. Here's where it gets tricky. Diddy introduced Faith Evans, an R&B singer, and made her follow Mary's exact blueprint for success. You can imagine that this didn't sit well with Mary, even though she and Faith initially got along and even collaborated on a few songs. Things got tense because they ended up in direct competition with each other, all thanks to the industry's desire to replicate success. Faith even released a song on her album called Love Don't Live Here Anymore, a Rolls Royce remix. But guess what? You can hardly find that song anywhere because, according to Faith, Mary's vocals were taken off the album. Something definitely went down between them because if you try to buy Faith Evans' first album, Marriage Obliges, you won't find that song on it anywhere. Faith said, at the time, the general manager of Bad Boy called me like six months after my album came out like, Mary wants her voice off your album. So I just re-recorded the record, which I hated, without her on it. My first album, we okay. did a song together um, called Love Don't Live Here Anymore. Wow. And then at the time, the general manager, Bad Boy, called me like probably about six months after my album came out like, Mary wants a voice off your album now. However, Mary had a different perspective on the whole situation. Mary said, that's not true. That's something I'm just hearing about, responded Blige. I love that song. I love the duet that we did. And every time I hear it, I'm like, well, what happened to my part? She further added, I know I didn't say anything about it. They lied to her. At the time, was Faith a little bit of a takeoff of what, of what, of how you were moving? Of course. But I always wanted to know what you thought. I, I knew it from the outside. Now, by this one can tell that miscommunication was a big issue between Mary and Faith, and it caused a lot of unnecessary tension. It was a well-known fact that Diddy and Mary had a falling out. Mary felt like Diddy was replacing her with a new Mary J and becoming distant from her. The split from Diddy ended up benefiting Mary in an unexpected way. It allowed her to gain a sense of independence and take more control over her musical direction. She didn't confine herself solely to Puffy's hip-hop R&B hybrid theory and was able to explore her own artistic path. 
She said, it was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it without you. It was easy, but the streets and everybody's opinions are what made things so hard. Oh, she's not with Puff no more. She can't do it without Puff no more. In an interview with Shaheem Reed for MTV, Mary explained her reconciliation with Diddy after their falling out. She said, he had a label, he had a female artist, he had Biggie, but during the time I was really dogging myself. I was a mess on drugs. Any smart man or businessman would have moved away from me. It felt like he was becoming distant, but looking back, I now understand why. It appears that Faith Evans became a point of contention between Diddy and Mary J. Blige. Despite this, Mary seemed unfazed and continued to create her own music. However, their feud escalated when Lil' Kim entered the picture, causing tensions to rise between Mary and Faith due to Kim's involvement with Biggie. Mary was also close friends with Lil' Kim, who was involved with Biggie and played a role in the tension. Mary apparently blamed Faith for the strain in her relationship with Diddy, as he was like a brother to her. Meanwhile, Lil' Kim felt hurt that Biggie had chosen his wife over her, adding to the complex web of relationships and conflicts in the music industry at the time. During that time, Lil' Kim had some conflicts with Faith over Biggie. The notorious Big Faith Evans is candidly open about various aspects of her life, including this incident in her book, Keeping the Faith. Notably, she shares the intimate details of the moment when she caught Lil' Kim in her husband's bed, red-handed and completely naked. Evans reveals more in her book. She wrote, I stopped throwing punches for a minute to get a look at the chick I was beating up. It was Lil' Kim, she wrote. And later on, I have to say I actually felt some pity for Kim. Big had a wife, and she settled for messing with him. Then he started dating Tiffany, Charlie Baltimore, and Big had a wife and a mistress. And Kim settled for being the other other woman. It seemed pretty sad to settle for that. Mary took Lil' Kim's side in the feud against Faith, which further strained her relationship with Faith and added even more tension to the mix. However, that's not all. This, where is gets even juicier, as Desiree Smith, Tupac's ex-girlfriend, is spilling the beans. She has made some bold claims. She has pointed fingers at Tupac, allegedly blaming him for cheating on Mary J. Blige with Faith Evans, who was married to Biggie Smalls. According to her, Tupac had a plan that led to this relationship. This was disclosed in an interview conducted by Cam Capone News, which is known for its exclusive Tupac-related content, and it sheds light on a previously undisclosed aspect of Tupac's life. According to Smith, Tupac had been planning to become romantically involved with Faith Evans since he was in prison back in 1995. As Biggie Smalls and Faith Evans' marriage was falling apart, Tupac saw his chance and seized it. He managed to connect with Faith Evans, and they even recorded a song Song together. However, the song was never released because Bad Boy Records didn't approve it. Nonetheless, it seems like the damage had already been done in terms of the rumors and speculation surrounding their relationship. Desiree said, he called me and he was like, I did it. I'm like, what you did? What happened? What you did do? And I'm thinking something musically or a role and he's like, I've her. He was like, yeah, that S was easy. And he's like, I f***ed her. And I was like, what? However, Faith Evans has shared her side of the story about recording a song with Tupac. She said that Tupac offered her $25,000 to record a song with him, with the condition that she would write and sing the hook. Faith needed the money at the time and told Biggie about the offer, to which he didn't object. Faith agreed to work with Tupac and was picked up by him. However, she didn't realize she was headed to Death Row Studios until she saw Suge Knight there. According to Faith, she never received the promised payment of $25,000. She claims that Tupac wanted her to perform Oral S on him, but she refused, left without being paid, and was understandably upset about the situation. In addition to recording a song together, Tupac and Faith Evans were photographed together, further intensifying the feud between Mary J. Blige and Faith Evans. During an appearance on The Fat Joe Show via Instagram Live, Faith Evans explained how she first met Tupac Shakur and clarified what actually transpired with the famous photo that has become an iconic moment in hip-hop history. She said, When I met Tupac, I was actually in LA, trying to get work as a writer. I was out here writing with a producer on his new group, staying with them in their apartment, explains Evans. We just happened to go out that night to the Hollywood Athletic Club. This was between my first and second album. Faith Evans maintained her innocence, asserting that she had no idea that a simple photo with Tupac would have such significant consequences. She said, In that moment, I did not think me meeting him would lead to anything. Faith Evans further alleges that the photographer was actually paid to ensure he would capture a photo of her and Tupac, a realization that only became clear to her more than 20 years later. But that's not all. Desiree is not the only one who has spilled the beans. 
During an interview with Cam Capone News, Reggie also shared his personal experience and insights into the relationship between Faith Evans and Tupac. He claimed, they were sitting in a little, what we call a red room. It's like a little private room, no bigger than a bathroom. They had a little couch in there. That's where Nias went to either womp on somebody or mainly to go and hook up with a chick. And he was sitting in that room. For some reason, I was going into that room or checking around doing studio checks and all. And they were in there and he was pushing at that time her head down towards his Gentiles. That's all I saw. Yukmuth also recalled a moment when the Oakland rapper Drew Down saw Faith Evans in Tupac's hotel room. Drew Down, I guess, was at the same hotel Pac was staying at, Yukmuth recalls. That's when allegedly the night when Faith came over to the room and Drew Down was in the room when she came up. Pac was like, watch and see who I got. You ain't going to believe who's coming, something like that. Answer the door. So Drew answered the door and it was Faith. Faith Evans and Tupac's alleged affair was mentioned in Biggie's track, Hit Him Up, where he rapped about it. You claim to be a player, but I F your wife. Even though Faith Evans denied all the rumors and clarified that she didn't have any relationship with Tupac, many fans were still confused about the whole situation till Mary J. Blige and Faith Evans's feud started to heat up. Many fans believed that these were the reasons why Mary J. Blige and Faith Evans's friendship hit rock bottom. Their physical fight at Diddy's party further fueled the rumor having social media in a frenzy. However, Mary J. Blige confirmed to Page Six on September 10th that the fight rumors were completely fabricated. She wasn't even in New York at the time because she was busy shooting a movie in Louisiana. Mary said, of course that was made up, she reportedly told the site. I was shooting a movie in Louisiana. I just got here today. Meanwhile, a representative for Faith Evans has exclusively told Hollywood Life that the fight rumors are totally false, and they are clueless about how this rumor even began because Puffy didn't even have a party. People were not just shocked by the news of the supposed Mary J. Blige and Faith Evans brawl. They were also captivated by the overall craziness of the situation. The rumors started trending widely. In addition, Cardi B added another layer of drama to the mix when she threw her shoe at her rap rival during the Harper's Bazaar Icons party. Security quickly stepped in to separate them, and later, Cardi took to Instagram to vent about allegations that Nicki had commented on her ability to be a good mom to her daughter, Culture. While it's important to clarify that there was no actual incident of Mary J. Blige and Faith Evans being involved in a physical fight, neither of them openly admitted to hating each other. In fact, they haven't made any comments about this issue at all. This situation has stirred up various reactions from fans, and there is a lot of discussion and speculation surrounding it. One user said, I'm a fan of both, but Mary said in a VH1, behind the music she had an issue with Puffy bringing Faith on because he was trying to make another MJB an amp she felt Puffy was pushing her to the side. She wanted to be the only MJB and AMP, it girl he was working with. She said it also brought up things from her past doing that. I'm mad the Breakfast Club doesn't do homework on guests before they come on. Why did they allegedly come to blows? Another user stated, This beef is ages old. Diddy tried to mold another Mary and Faith, and Mary wasn't feeling it back in the day. So Diddy and Mary fell out. But I don't know if they still beefing over that. It's old and they've seen each other in past multiple times since the 90s. I see lies here. That's it for today's video guys, thanks for watching.